Yo, peace, love, and blessings, fam. So <clears throat> I want to talk about you being qualified to be a boss in your domain, all right? In your domain where you rule. Um, You specialize in a particular area. There is something that you know how to do, that you know what to do, and you know it better than most people around you, Okay. When it's time to be the student, you humble yourself down and you learn, all right? Because we're not all good at everything. But where it's time to where, where it's time for you to boss up, that is where you shine or where you must shine. And I encourage each and every one of you to find it within you to exercise that confidence, okay? To embrace your gifts with confidence because your gifts were given to you and only you will know how to nurture those gifts from within unless magically somehow you come across the right teacher. But those are rare. And to be honest, in this day and age, most of the teaching is going to be, you know, like how you're watching me through the videos. You came across some some information that you're cross-referencing through books. But in reality, your teacher is your higher self, is your inner guide, is inside you, okay? So, again, you will have, as we've spoken before, you will have the answers that you will need on your journey when it's time for you to tap into it or whenever you ask to tap into it. It will be shown, it will be shown to you and it will come from within, all right? So let me give you an example of some stuff um, and to embrace this confidence. Um, there will be people that will try to sabotage you along the way. Okay. That they will, they, they have this superiority complex and that, you know, they, they will figure that their way is better than your way. They won't even inquire as to what you know and how you want to go about things, but they will feel the need to coach you but it will not be for your benefit. It will be to sabotage you, okay? Um, because you have a vision of what you want to manifest and how you want to manifest it. And even if it doesn't come to fruition, how you see fit, you have your learning and growing process that has to be respected, okay? Because you can't have your hand held the whole time, right? So I've experienced that before where, People have told me, you know, you should do this this way. I know better. You should do this this way. But me, and this is with respect to my creative works, all right, when I was active as an artist. And um, I would totally disregard these people, all right, because I knew that my style and my way of, of embracing and creating art was unique to me. So only I was going to be able to manifest this Unless I was working with people that understood me and were on my wavelength. I never found people that were on my wavelength. Therefore, I disregarded them all. I did learn from them, but I never let them steer me. All right. Um, and even though I didn't accomplish certain things, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that because I had to learn on my, I might, I had to learn on my own accord. Okay, and I advise the same for you, but I advise you to don't let anything stop you from the things that you want to achieve. Let me give you another example about this bossing up gig. Um, there's a particular individual in my life, I won't really name who, but every time I interact with this individual, this individual, this mind you, this individual is significantly younger than me by over a decade. And this individual, every time we get paired up, to go on a mission, right? I already come equipped with, with the knowledge and the experience to get the job done. And I have proven myself on multiple occasions. This individual, his, his superiority complex kicks in. This individual cannot humble down and just fucking rock and observe and listen and, and, and learn, right? And not that I'm not open to learning, but I already know what to do to get the job done quickly, efficiently, and for us to go home. No, this individual always has a grand idea. I got an idea. Let's do this this way. Let's do... And I'm like, no, bro. 
we're doing this this way. That way doesn't make sense. And he's there scratching his head. He doesn't even think about it for, for a long enough time. He's still arguing his cause, right? So I'm like, okay, there was a few times. I tried it his way. Stumped, scratching his head. Can't figure out why it didn't work. I said, listen, we tried it your way. Look, my way, boom, 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 bang it out, get it quick, get it done quick, get it done efficiently, and we go to lunch, we go home, you know what I'm saying, and we end the day, right? Um, we're not there scratching our heads for a whole hour trying to figure out how to get the job done. And I've proven myself over and over and over and over. The reason why these people do this is because their fucking egos cannot handle taking the back seat. They can't shut up. Humble down, take the back seat and learn because the truth of the matter is they don't have the experience, but they want to steer the ship. They don't have the experience. They don't have the hours logged to, to learn to fly the plane, but they want to be the captain of the plane without the experience, right? Those people, you got to put them in their place. You got to boss up. You got to put your big boy pant, uh, your big boy underwear on or your big girl panties on. You got to put them in their place and you got to boss up. Because let me tell you, man, a lot of people are faking the funk. A lot of people are full of shit. Um, you probably work with people that are making six figures and they don't do a damn thing but fart on their desk all day. And they leech off of other people's energy, having them do their work for you, having, having those people do their work for them, right? And half the time, they don't even know what the hell is going on. But let these people that are the real hard workers that are getting their energy sucked out of them doing everybody else's work, let them go on vacation for a week. And those people that are getting the six figure salaries, they won't pick up the slack because they don't know what to do and or they are lazy. So what I'm saying is that some of you are be are undervaluing yourselves, are being underpaid, right? And you're being overworked and you are overqualified for the position that you are in. And you are doubting yourself. You're shunning yourself. You're, you're, you're sweeping your abilities under the rug. And you're letting some asshole that is underqualified but overpaid shatter your confidence. I'm speaking from experience because this has happened to me numerous times, right? And this... and. With my situation, it goes back to the toxic upbringing, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, but these toxic behaviors that we accept goes that back to the childhood nonetheless, right? So what I'm saying is, is that if you have been specializing in, in a particular area, okay, and you know what to do and how to do it, you are the master of that craft, when it comes to collaborating with people and people telling you what to do or giving you advice, man, these fucking people, they're just extra icing on the cake. That's all they are. You're the fucking cake with the icing and the cherry on top. All they are is extra icing, if anything. That's all they are. So when you're interacting with people, yes, be humble and learn from them, but let it be known that you are a motherfucking boss. And that they are interacting with another boss, not with no fucking peasant and no slave bowing their head down, keeping all quiet. You're going to speak up and you're going to speak your, your piece. And if they don't fucking like it, good riddance. They can kick rocks. Because people will expose their true selves when you start speaking up. They want you to be the soft-spoken, non-spoken um, uh, uh, pushover so that they can walk all over you. Because in reality, they're nothing without you. They need followers is what they need in order for them to, to, to give them their superiority feel. But you ain't going to let that happen. Because you ain't no goddamn cockroach to be walked all over on. You're going to boss up and you're going to own who you are and what you are. And if people don't like it, good riddance. But you're going to tribe up with those that will accept you and respect you. And they will help teach you new things. And you will be receptive to learning from them. But they will accept you and they will respect you. And they will respect your boundaries. Peace, love, and blessings.